Hey up everybody, welcome back to the Yorkshire Fab Shop. We've got a modification to do to another Elliott Progress 2GS drill. Now for those of you that have seen the restoration series, episode number two featured an Elliott Progress drill. So that covers the vast majority of what you need to do to maintain one. However, because we're suffering leakage with this one, we're going to do a small little modification, an extra seal in somewhere that could have could have been done from factory to be honest obviously they decided not to bother hopefully you all recognize this as the gearbox cover plate for those of you that have had the pleasure of using an Elliott Progress 2GS you'll know that a common leak point on these is here so this gearbox had no oil in at all and I didn't expect there to be any because I expected it to be leaking. And if I draw this out of here, you can see that there isn't even an O-ring on here. Now the easiest thing to do is to replace that with another one. But that's not all we're going to do today. We're going to modify this to try and prevent it from leaking for twice as long, at least. So as we explained in the restoration series video, in here there is a brass collar. Just move that washer. There's a brass collar in here, and that is where the O ring obviously resides on and creates the oil tight seal. Over time, this O ring breaks down, and the oil can then weep past and ex exit the drill. So, what we are going to do today is we're going to install another second O ring on this shaft. So, what we need to do is we need to find out where this first one sits and then try and find a super location in here for the other one to sit as well because I'm not quite sure whether it's been brazed or whether it's retained by pins or something but inside here not that you can see very well but there's almost it's like aluminium pins that seem to retain this bush in here could be brazed, could be solder, could be something like that what we don't want is an o-ring to be running on there so we can measure in there measure the depth and come off the washer to give us the position on this shaft where we need to machine it to install a second o-ring simple job all we need to do is throw it in the lathe measure off use a parting tool or a grooving tool machine another land into there and jobs are good and install another o-ring should be good forever then Okay, so we've got a depth of three hundred and sixty-eight thou-ish, for diameter of four hundred and ninety-seven. So that's what hundred and thirty thou, sixty-five thou aside, mill and a half depth thereabouts. And an 83 thou width, so two mil, give or take. Got the three jar in. I'm half tempted just to throw it in here, see how close it is, because are we going to be too bothered if it's a thou or two out for an O-ring seal? I, I don't think so. It should be good enough. A little bit of brass packing just to protect this. So the tool of choice, if you can just see at the bottom there, we've got a high speed steel parting off tool. Just a tad narrow, so we'll go in, come across, go in again. We're a little bit high as well, but we'll sort the height of the tool just in a minute. So like I say, we'll measure off how far in we need to go. Go in, what did we say? 65 thou. And then that'll be all we need to do. So 
We measured off, we're gonna go exactly half an inch from this fixed point, which should avoid all the little solder ports or whatever they are, whether the pins are solder or braze or whatever. So half an inch from there will give us plenty of clearance. Fourth RP near enough. So that's that then, two O-rings fitted on there, so that's a lot better now, probably not twice the ceiling capacity but probably 50% better than it was, so we can fit this back together now in there, and that should be a better seal for a little bit longer, less chance of that leaking anyway. So we can refit that to the drill, build the drill up, jobs are good and so I hope you've enjoyed that, just a quick one today. Nice little modification for an Elliot 2GS or 2G if you've got one. So thanks for watching. See you next time.